friends, welcome back to our kitchen. We are probably gonna be in here all day today because I've got three awesome recipes to share with you guys. It's actually Monday, so I'm gonna kind of prep a little lunch for Bunky and I for the week. We are going to make the most delicious and easiest soup recipe tonight in our Dutch oven. And then I also have an incredibly easy dessert that is going to be scrumptious. Both our lunch and our dinner recipes call for shredded chicken. So this morning, I just went ahead and put some chicken breast in my crock pot. Super easy way to make lots of shredded chicken. And then the chicken will make its own juices, but I did a little bit of chicken stock, some anti no nos cracked black pepper, and just let that cook for a couple hours. It is ready to go. So I am ready to get started on this first recipe. If you wanted to do rotisserie chicken, you could also do it that way. Whatever is easiest for you, but let's go ahead and get cooking. Okay, chicken is done and looking good. I'm just gonna go ahead and shred that. Hopefully I'm not steaming y'all out, but I'm just gonna use my little handy dandy Pampered Chef gadget to do this. Um, I'm pretty sure you can get this like on Amazon. I'll try and find one and link it for y'all. So for this first recipe, we're going to make these buffalo chicken taquitos. And you guys know, I love this air fryer cookbook. I will link it for you guys down below. As you can tell, there are very, very many recipes I have saved out of here. But these are going to be so easy. There's only a handful of ingredients. And then we're popping them in the air fryer, of course. So they're not going to take long to cook. So to make these, we're going to do some cream cheese. You're going to need some buffalo sauce. Obviously, your shredded chicken some Colby Jack cheese and then I'm switching the recipe up a little bit she says to use ranch dressing to serve like on the side to dip them in but I'm gonna do some ranch seasoning inside my mixture and then dip them in some blue cheese dressing because I like a little bit of blue cheese in my buffalo chicken dip y'all know <gasps> you know what I just thought about oh my goodness I'm so excited remember when I got this at Sam's Club y'all I'm putting some of this in there too. This is going to be so good. All right, so I've got my cream cheese and I just sat this out a little bit ago so it'll be nice and softened and easy to combine in here. So I'm gonna add this to my shredded chicken and then I'm gonna do a good amount of this Frank's hot sauce. Some ranch seasoning and then my Kinder's Buffalo seasoning and I forgot that this says it is with real blue cheese so this is going to give me that blue cheese flavor that i really want and then i'm just going to shred my colby jack cheese and then we'll add this in as well and get that all nice and stirred and combined Let me just tell y'all this might not even make it into the tortilla or the air fryer because I might just sit here with a spoon and eat the entire thing. Y'all know how much I love buffalo chicken dip and this looks incredible. Okay, y'all know I had to taste test this and oh my word, it is so scrumptious. Like this could be one of my favorite buffalo chicken mixes that I have ever done and I'm telling you I think it's because of the kinders it is so good I can't even imagine how this is gonna get better but it's gonna get better okay so now you grab your tortillas I'm gonna just lay them out here on my cutting board and then we're gonna put the mixture into each of them and roll them up really tightly like taquitos So you know how I told you I wanted to kind of prep these for the week? I started thinking about it and I was like, with this mixture that I have left over, I'm just gonna save this in the refrigerator. And then of course I have like my extra tortillas and then I can just easily build these each day, throw them in the air fryer and they'll be like a lot more fresh and better that way than having to like reheat them once they're already made. So I'm just gonna put a lid on this, pop it in the fridge. We're gonna get these in our air fryer, spray them with a little bit of cooking oil a little bit of sea salt on top and then we just cook them at 375 for eight minutes flipping them halfway one time and then they'll be done
am like dying to try these and I was trying to wait for Bunky to have like lunch with him but he is on a call and I'm like buddy if you do not hurry I'm gonna dig in so I'm digging in because his call is going over just listen to the crunch I mean do y'all oh my gosh do you see these things I might cry they look so good and literally took no time at all. By the way, the Marzetti blue cheese, it is the best blue cheese dressing ever. If you haven't tried it, you should. I only get it when it's on sale because it's a little bit more expensive. But of course, if you don't like blue cheese, then you can just use ranch. Oh my goodness. Wow. I don't even know what to say. Like I don't even have the right words to tell y'all how amazing these are. I feel like I just fell in love with my new favorite food of all time. Like, it's so good. If you love buffalo chicken dip, I would so much rather almost eat it this way. It's like ridiculous. I cannot, my Bunky, y'all, he's gonna love them. I cannot wait for him to get off this call and come down here and try these. You are not even going to be able to handle this goodness, okay? <laughs> it's, I'm actually very impressed with them. Um, these look very legitimate. Let me tell you something. You wait till you taste that. I'm supposed to dip it in this? Yeah, that's your blue cheese. Blue cheese? That's blue monkey. cheese dressing. What? It's buffalo chicken dip, crazy oh, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, that's good texture on the uh, tortilla. It's cr crunchy, isn't it? Mm-hmm. That's a good crust. Wow. You're not kidding. You're not kidding. That's good. <laughs> Bunky, I'm so impressed. I'm like, this is the easiest thing. I'm about to make them every single week. Yeah, we need to stuff tortillas and throw them in that thing more regularly. Eight minutes, that's all it took. If you're looking to spice up your buffalo chicken dip game, <laughs> instead of using tortilla chips, yes. wrap it in a tortilla, put it in the air fryer. And you know what? This is very handheld presentation. I know, I was just gonna say, yeah. you can have like a um, football party. Yeah. This is great football food. Mm hmm. It's handheld. Handheld. Very transportable. <laughs> From hand to mouth. Bunny said the chicken was so tender and juicy in there. Oh yeah. That little mixture is just like. Spot on. Mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna finish our little lunch. I'll see you back in the kitchen in just a little bit. So we're about to get started on this soup recipe. And fun fact, this is a actual casserole recipe that Bunky and I have wanted to make for quite a while. But this is like the soup version of it. So we're making the King Ranch chicken casserole soup but we'll probably make the casserole mm -hmm. here soon too because Bunky really really wants that casserole um I'm pretty sure this is like a Reed Drummond famous recipe that's where we saw it was on Pioneer Woman yeah well I'm curious to see now since we're having the soup version we, re gonna... we really have to have the other to Me compare too. see which one is actually the winner agreed and the best part about this recipe is it's only five minute prep and 20 minutes all together to cook. So 25 minutes flat, we are gonna have the most delicious, cozy soup. So I'm so excited. So let me show you the ingredients. So you have the rice of our shredded chicken from this morning. You're gonna need some chicken broth, a can of cream of mushroom soup, a can of cream of chicken soup, some rotel. You can do like tortilla strips, Fritos. That crunchy topping. Whatever crunchy topping you want. You're also gonna need some oh. Velveeta. And then to season it, you'll do garlic powder, onion powder, chili powder, cumin, which we don't have. <laughs> okay, so to our Dutch oven, go ahead and add in your cream of mushroom soup. That never looks appetizing, but it tastes so good. <laughs> and then your cream of chicken soup, your rotel, and you don't have to drain it. You can just put all those juices and everything in there. Mm -hmm. Okay, kind of give this a stir. And then next we're gonna add in our chicken broth. I only have about a cup in here and the recipe calls for four cups. So Bunky is making us some um, better than bouillon over there. And so when he's done with that, we'll add that in as well as what's left in this little container. Normally I'm your sous chef, but tonight I'm your soup chef. <laughs> yes. Where do you come up with this stuff, Bunky? I don't know, I do it on the fly. <laughs> I'm pretty proud of that one. That actually. was really good. I know. I'm gonna use the same spoon since um, everybody's going in the same pond. Yeah, that's totally fine. Now we can use a baby spoon in the uh -huh. big pot. Yes, you look crazy. How are we gonna call this King Ranch chicken soup when there is no ranch involved? 
don't know Blinky the recipe and have the ranch, so I'm just doing what I'm told. It's not ranch like that, you crazy man. Oh, it's like the ranch. Yes. Like it's made on the ranch. Yes. Okay, so now we just add in our shredded chicken, and like I said earlier, you could totally use rotisserie chicken for this I'm if you have that. I'm going to the edge for the to reduce the splash. Okay. I think we discovered another major life hack today. What? Just cooking straight up chicken breast in the slow cooker. Oh, you know what? I was actually gonna say this. That is the easiest, best way to like prep chicken for the week. Cause then you can take yep. that shredded chicken and do like barbecue chicken salads. Mm -hmm. You can make regular chicken salad out of it. Yeah. I was actually gonna say, you know my buddy, Matt? Uh-huh. I won't use his full name. <laughs> He said that he does that to make his chicken salad. It's I, so smart. I was like, man, that guy's a genius. And you know what? I tasted it just with like the antinotos and black pepper. It tasted so good. Yeah. Tell, tell us in the comments if y'all prep your chicken like that or if you do it a different way. But if you haven't just done it in the crock pot. So versatile. Such versatility. Do it, yeah. Okay, we got our chicken in there? Yeah, yeah, it's in there. Okay, so now we just do our spices. Okay, so you know I'm not going to actually measure this. Mm-hmm. Now, hang on. This is a... Did you know... Did, was that right? You're yes. going to use that. I really don't want to, but I'm going to do it because we don't have the cumin. And it calls for this. But we're going to do like a sprinkle. Do two sprinkles. That's it. Okay. And then garlic. Chili powder. I feel like put a good amount of chili powder. That's the good stuff. Keep going. How much are we actually supposed to have? I'm not really sure. Just keep going. Okay, I think that's enough of that. Okay. Okay, so I'm just gonna turn this up a little bit and we're just gonna kind of bring this to a simmer. And then once it's a simmering, we're gonna add in all that Velveeta, let it get nice and melted and combined. And then this will pretty much be done. Okay, we are simmering away in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and start dropping in our Velveeta. And I just cut it up into like bite-sized pieces so it's easier to melt in here. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this down a little bit to kind of like a low, medium low, pop a lid on here and let this cook for about five more minutes until that cheese is melted. And I almost forgot one more ingredient. So I just took one of our tortillas and kind of like tore it apart into like little bite-sized pieces. If you have corn tortillas, that is the proper thing to put in here, but I'm just gonna use the ones that we have. Or I was thinking even, I don't know if this makes it proper or not, but if you had some Fritos. Dude. Wouldn't that be so good? Uh, yep. Okay. Like, what if you had those Frito scoops? Yes. Yeah. That would be so good. You know what I just thought of? What? Bunky. What? I'm on a roll tonight. What? You know how people say tomato, tomato? Yes. What about tortilla, tortilla? <laughs> That's pretty bad. That That's was a bad. stretch. That was a stretch. That looks so good. And then we're gonna top this with like sour cream, a couple little tortilla chips. You could um, do green onions if you have those, some more cheddar cheese. You know what I thought would be good in here? What? Topping it with cilantro. Oh yeah, for sure. you so excited Man. it's hot yeah <laughs> problem solved you are hilarious we could just you know sit down at our table and eat okay second question for y'all tell us in the comments especially if it's like just you and your spouse do y'all like stand up and eat in the kitchen because I feel like we do all the time instead of like sitting down well monkey uh-huh I say this almost every time You've done it again. No. It's incredible. Okay, good. Is this like one of your favorite soups? Um, this might be my favorite soup that, that you have made, yes. Oh, wow. I know, right? High accolades. Yeah. Okay, tell us what you think about the um, tortillas in there. They're crucial. Oh, yeah. They're crucial. I think what would actually be good, I was thinking this a minute ago, you know, you said the, <clears throat> the Fritos. Uh-huh. But you know how there's like the, uh, like the, 
the round corn chips that you get yes. with nachos. Yes. If you just drop those bad boys in here, they're gonna absorb so much and have like just nice little texture, but this is good. And I do highly recommend the cilantro in there. Star of the show, in my opinion, is the Rotel. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, now are you like even more excited to make the casserole? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have to say I'm impressed. I cannot taste the onion powder, so that is like a plus for me. That's really good. Now I'm like very excited to make the casserole as well. That is absolutely scrumptious and so creamy and cheesy and warm, cozy, all yeah. things, oh my gosh. Okay, I have got to clean this kitchen. Otherwise, we cannot even make this dessert. Um, plus I need to start editing this video so you guys can see it tomorrow. So listen, we're gonna make our dessert in the morning. Yes. We'll just have it to snack on tomorrow because I feel like between this and our lunch, I'm like too full to even eat it. Um, so I'll meet you guys back here in the kitchen in the morning. Yeah. What are you gonna say? Your battery's about to die. Oh, okay, I'll meet you here in the kitchen in the morning. Look, another reason why I can't do the dessert tonight. But before we make this dessert, I gotta take you guys back to the other night and share these firehouse cheeseburgers with y'all that we had. They were so, so good. They came in our HelloFresh box. Let me show you. So a big thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. I know we're all kind of getting back into that fall season and it can be really busy, but weeknights can be made so much easier with HelloFresh's foolproof step-by-step -step recipes that are ready in about 30 minutes or less and they're delivered right to your doorstep. So if you have a packed schedule this fall, HelloFresh has got you covered with their weekly selection of 30 plus recipes and 70 plus convenience items. And did you know that HelloFresh is not just for dinner. You can shop their fresh market for quick breakfast, wholesome snacks, and even desserts. You'll find everything you need to satisfy your cravings without stepping a foot in the grocery store. I wish I would have gotten Bunk's reaction to these firehouse cheeseburgers on camera because he looked at me and said, how do they do it? Every meal gets better and better. And I'm telling y'all, Every HelloFresh recipe we have ever tried is absolutely delicious. We even made the bruschetta chicken this week, and y'all, it was wonderful. The flavors are so good. With HelloFresh, you can easily customize your meals with Hello Custom by swapping out proteins or sides or upgrading to your choice of proteins or even adding a protein to a veggie meal. It's never been easier to eat your way. If you have never tried HelloFresh, trust me, you need to do it. It is like our favorite week of the month and I have such a great offer for you guys. So to try HelloFresh, go to HelloFresh.com and use code Jessica016 for 16 free meals across seven boxes and three free gifts. And that's at HelloFresh.com using code Jessica016 for 16 free meals across seven boxes and three free gifts. Tell y'all, this is Bunky's third bowl of this soup. <laughs> Every time I look in this kitchen, he is back filling this bowl to the mm. brim. Not even joking, third time. Yeah. You love it. I mean, it's really good. <laughs> and if, I'm telling you, if you had those round corn chips in there. It would be crazy. They would be corn. <laughs> and uh, uh, if anybody out there watches Instagram reels, you know corn is all the rage. Oh, it's all the rage. It's all the rage. Okay, we are about to get started on this dessert and I need to know, have you ever heard of the term Brookies, because if you have not, I'm about to blow your mind. We are going to make the easiest, most delicious dessert. I am like so excited, you don't even know. And all you need is two ingredients. A box of brownie mix and cookie dough. We're combining the two and we're making brookies and they are gonna be so good. Okay, so to get started, we're gonna make these brownies just like the directions say on the package. All right, so once you've got those mixed up, I'm just taking my Pyrex that I'm gonna bake these in, and I lined it with foil so that I can easily pull these out of here, and that way it doesn't make like such a mess. So I'm just gonna pour my brownie mixture in here first. Okay, so now with the cookie dough, you can kind of cut it like this in thin little slices, or you can just pinch it off and put it on top. It doesn't have to be pretty because it's all gonna kind of melt in to each other. And kind of like push it down in there just a little bit. 
if you can do this without eating half of the cookie dough while you're putting it in here, kudos to you. Because <laughs> I'm over here snacking the whole time. Have I told you how excited I am for this? Because I am like really excited. Y'all know I'm not a big sweets person, but two things that I love very much are cookies and brownies. This is like my two worlds colliding. Um, okay, so obviously brownies and cookies cook at different temperatures or times. So here's how we're gonna do it so that they cook evenly and everything comes out really nicely. Go ahead and preheat your oven to 350 and then we're gonna cover this with tin foil and we're gonna let it cook for like 20, 25 minutes covered. Then we'll take the tin foil off and let it finish cooking for like 10 more minutes without it so that the cookies kind of brown on top as well. And then everything should kind of be cooked evenly perfect. Okay, it has been 25 minutes. Let's check on these. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at this, wowzers. Okay, I'm gonna pop this back in. It's probably gonna take at least, I would say like 10 to 15 minutes because this center part isn't even cooked yet. So we're gonna pop them back in and I will let y'all know at the end of this like how long it actually takes. Y'all, these people lied to us, okay? <laughs> I mean, on the surface, they look so good. But look, they are still not done. And it has been like almost an hour. These people said like 35 minutes. An hour later, it is still raw in the center. So, what do I do? Bunky, come save my day. Tell me what to do here. What have you done? These have been cooking for almost an hour and they're still like in the center roll. Around the edges, I think that they're like pretty much cooked, but right there, mm. what do I do? We're gonna put it back in there. Well, I put the tin foil back on because I didn't want this to get any more brown. But you know what I think it is? Oh. I think because I put the tin foil in the Pyrex, it's like making it harder for the center to cook. You think so? We're having heat transfer issues? I think so. I possibly should not have put the tin foil in there, but they even said to do the same thing. So the recipe I got it from, I feel like they lied to me. Did you use the right size baking dish? Uh-huh. I did. How is that? Uh, it's good. Tasting off the knife there? Oh my gosh, ridiculous, so good. So this is the brookie batter? This is brookie batter. We gotta figure this out though, cause I like want these in my life. Is it hot? No, not big, not terrible. Mmm. That's good, I admit. <laughs> That's a combination of two excellent things. I agree. Okay, I'm putting the tin foil back on. Are you like covering the top of it? Yes. Yeah. I wasn't for a while, but now that top is like, you know, gonna get too brown. Yeah. Put the tin foil back on there. Let's put it back in the oven. Okay. Okay, so it's been like 25 more minutes. I just pulled these out. The sides are done. It's just that center. So I'm gonna like get out what I can because I have got to try these. They smell amazing. Okay, well, first of all, I'm impressed because actually they are all the way cooked through, even in the center. So they did cook all the way eventually. It just took like an hour and a half and you're sitting there like smelling them and they smell so good and you're like dying to eat them. So then you're just like waiting on pins and needles. So if you have a tip or trick as to like how to cook these in less time, please let us know down below in the comments. I really wonder if like my tin foil was the problem, but y'all let me know. If you're a baker, help a sister out. We gotta try these. I'm like <laughs> dying on pins and needles. And this time, I'm going first. Usually I let you do the taste test first, but. So, so is the cookie on top? Cookie's on top. Okay. And it looks like super brown, but it's still just like perfectly cooked. These are a very nice texture. I'm telling you, they like actually turned out. You're gonna lose your mind. <laughs> You know, they kind of match your uh, your shirt My today. Shirt. Yeah. 
Bucky, you're gonna lose your mind. <laughs> They're so good. Damn. I gotta toot my own horn because it took a long time, but these came out perfect. Like, wow. They they look really good. Ooh, I forgot. That's nice. That's nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so many different things going on here. It's so warm and cozy. It needs some vanilla ice cream or a big glass of cold milk. Yeah, vanilla ice cream with this. I'm about to get some right now. We actually have some. Mm -hmm. Um. Hmm. It's amazing, and I don't even know how to explain it. Girl, you're gonna have to make these again. <laughs> <laughs> They're so good. Okay, I'm getting ice cream. All right, so y'all have got to try all of these recipes. They are such a winner. You and your family are going to love them. Let me know what you think. I'll have all of them linked down below in my description box. Also, don't forget to check out HelloFresh. I love you so very much. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe before you guys leave. Give this one a thumbs up, and I will see you guys very soon in the next one. Bye, y'all.